Ah, it's about that time, guys. Time for another Cusco and cut. Ooh, got my big reticulated python here with me today. And uh, for those of you watching for the first time, I do three videos a week, two of them edited masterpieces, one of them uncut, and it's that time. Sometimes I find myself in my thoughts, asking myself, why? Why do so many of my thoughts stay just thoughts? Like why don't all these ideas just come pouring out all the time? Why do they stay trapped up there? Do I feel ashamed of my thoughts? Not most of the time, even though they're not that bad even. But like, like I thought I should record this video with my girl Betsy Ross here on the 4th of July because it also happens to be the day that she climbed out of the egg. 4th of July, that was it. So, what is it that keeps me from letting more of my thoughts become words or reality? I want good things for the world and the people in it. I like to think that I've got some pretty good ideas most of the time. Maybe, maybe it's because no matter how good your ideas seem to yourself, there's always at least a few people out there who think it's the worst idea they've ever heard. And how could you think of such a thing? I'm such a idiot and a sausage chomper. <laughs> Uh, that's that's just commenters online though. Nobody ever talks to me like that in real life. Um, well, except maybe a really good friend who isn't about to let me put my idiotic thoughts into reality, let alone spoken word. But they just really care about me. They love me. They want me to succeed. And now, maybe that's what the intention of the random commenter online is deep down, even though right now, you hate my guts. So reading comments can sometimes be a little challenging, but if it was that much of a problem, I could just put down the phone or get off the computer, go play some tag, kick it in the park, play a couple tunes, go to the beach, clean a snake, wrestle on the couch, wrestle in the bed, eat some food, watch a show, Go for a run, smoke some weed, brush my teeth, or in other words, hang out with my family. And I do that. I, I do it a lot. It's great. But, you know, there are, there are two things I think every parent on earth will agree with me on uh, when it comes to kids and raising kids. Whoa. One, they're grown before you know it. One day you're wrapping them in a blankie. Next thing, they're teaching you how algebra works again. Two, oh, sometimes you just wonder, are they ever gonna grow up? Finish your dinner. Hurry up and get in the car. Stop smacking your sister. Don't push your brother. We're gonna be late. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I, I, don't, I don't wonder about that. I, I hope they stay small. I don't want to find out how big Burley 1 and Burley 2 are going to be when they can finally make good on their threats. When I'm bigger, I'm going to beat you in a boxing match, Daddy. <laughs> anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, my thoughts and why they stay inside. I think people are generally chill and things just get blown out of control most of the time if you don't get the info right from the source mmm the source it sounds really good right now I'm, I'm trying to eat and drink less I saw a video of myself singing a Sarah McLachlan song the other night and it was a little disturbing I know it probably looks like I'm not doing so bad from this angle but watch 
<laughs> yeah. So I've been drinking a good amount of whiskey lately and not just a good amount, but really good stuff. I don't think it in and of itself is a problem. I mean, the new bourbons and ryes and blue corn whiskeys, they're absolutely amazing. They taste amazing. But I don't get like wasted and have a raging hangover ever, but I, I drink enough to loosen up my inhibitions just a little bit, especially where ice cream and in and out are concerned. Oh my God, we're losing the snake. Oh. <laughs> so I'm done playing fat kid for a little while. It'll be interesting to see how I fare when the family's out of town next week. We, we shall see. So what did you guys do for Independence Day? Celebration? Did it make you feel more independent? Did you finally denounce the crown? Play some John Philip Sousa with the marching band? Blow something up? Just curious. Oh, oh my God, dude. this girl's running. Oh, my thoughts. I decided I would write them down this time around instead of letting them escape into the ether like so many that have come and gone before them. Yet here's the issue. They're corrupted by you. I know that you're gonna be listening to my thoughts and sometimes you have this strange way of interpreting what I thought was a really good thought, maybe one of the best thoughts I ever had into some horrible idea that is so unfathomable. How could I possibly think like that? But now you're coming into my brain, yeah. Maybe sharing my thoughts with you isn't the best thought I ever had. Yeah. On second thought, you're clearly here to steal my good ideas, aren't you? Yeah. Well, guess what? Keeping them to myself. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes I think I just might be out of my mind to share all this stuff with you guys. I guess there seems to be enough people that I think would find value in it that they would try to steal it. <laughs> or or that it, it just keeps me coming back again and again. So have I proven to you yet that my sanity is pretty fluid? It's a good thing. Sometimes reality is just so real you've got to duck it from time to time just to survive. Also, I'm not that good at putting on a show. Whatever seems to be going on with me just seems to bubble immediately to the surface most times could be a great relief, but sometimes it really stinks. Ooh. All right, if you made it this far, well, you might as well strap in because we're, we're going about 35 miles an hour now and we're about to merge onto the highway, so. <clears throat> All right, full disclosure, I merged onto the highway and I fell asleep because all of that was after I inhaled several times, so. Now that I'm not so much in my thoughts and much more in my feelings, let's get into the meat, what it means to be Cusco. Some of the values in my core, definitely family oriented. That's why I think I'm able to be here with my family, seemingly day in to day out without going completely insane. Also, we learned at a very young age to leave things better than they were when we got there, like camping. I'm sure many of you practice this. If not, you should. Before we break camp, the last step is to scour the site for any rubbish that may be around, whether it came from us or not. I feel like that practice instilled in me the desire to make everywhere a little better. Whether that's a party, a meeting, or even just a post right here on the internet. Sometimes I win, sometimes I fail, but I'll always come back and try and try again until I get it just right. I think this, I think this is important, very important. I feel like so many people come online looking to start a dumpster fire so they can just sit back and bask in the glow of the blaze they created so their cold hearts can feel a little warmth even if it comes at the suffering of others. That's probably a small minority of people, but the man, it sure can catch like wildfire and quickly poison the minds of society. I think we've seen a lot of that lately. Luckily for us, it is a minority 
it's not really other people that we need to clean up, but our own minds, thoughts, and feelings. What do you feel at your core? You feel like you need to stir shit up a little for attention? Honestly, I do. I, I rarely act on that feeling though. It brings me more joy to see people working things out, getting along, having a good time together. Well, those are my thoughts. I'm sure I'll have more. I think I'm gonna try this writing them down thing for a little while. Maybe I'll capture something that has some real meaning, has a large positive effect on the world around me. That sure would be nice. <laughs>